friends if you want to stop your load according to time after timing complete load should stop automatically and also you can set stop time in this timer after the stop timing complete your load is start automatically you can see when timing is complete load will start automatically so for the automatically start and stop of load you need to connect a cyclic timer you can see we have one cyclic timer first learn how to program this cyclic timer after that we will learn connection of this cyclic timer so programming of this cyclic timer is very simple first you can see we have one knob for on time okay you can see this knob is for setting on time so you can set timing from one minute to three hour of this cyclic timer you can see one minute to three hour and setting is very simple just need to rotate this knob and you can set your timer setting okay for now we setting on time one minute you can see and also we have one knob for off time setting okay also off time you can set one minute to three hour for now we set off time one minute okay in this timer we have total three indicators okay first indicator is for power okay when power comes then power indicator will blink on time is run then on indicator will blink off time is running then off indicator will blink okay and for timing setting okay after setting timing need to press reset key okay when you press reset key your timing will be program or timing will be set okay also we have auto and manual switch if you set auto then your load will be automatically start stop according to time and if you set on manual then your timer will be bypass and load will run continuously okay and connection of this timer is very simple need to connect a line and neutral to 20 volt in red wire need to connect to phase and black wire for neutral yellow wire for load and black wire for output neutral okay so connection first done for simple connection so red wire connect in line and black wire connect in neutral okay in place of load we connect to one bulb you can connect any of the load okay so first we connect to line and neutral in input and output of this timer yellow and black wire connect to this bulb okay connection is very simple you can also install this timer at your home okay you can see for accuracy of this timer we connect one stopwatch okay when we start mcb also press stopwatch okay first our stop time for one minute so off indicator is also blinking in this timer you can see after one minute your load will be start automatically okay you can program this timer very easily and connection is also simple you can connect this timer at your home also in industry for automatically start and stop of the timer also you can connect this timer in controlling water pump motor okay when timing is complete load will start and you can see on indicator is also blinking now your load will run for one minute okay and after one minute load will stop automatically okay so you can connect this timer for multi-purpose application also connect control water pump motor or control any house load okay after completing one minute load will stop automatically you can see accuracy of this timer okay and also if you want to control water pump motor or any dual starter so you can control by this timer now let's see connections of to control water pump motor in this starter we connect to overload relay for overload protection 95 and 96 number point is ANC of this overload relay and also contactor coil voltage is 220 volt you first you need to see coil voltage should be 220 volt a1 and a2 is the coil and it is power terminal of this contactor okay connection is very simple first we connect one connector from mcb line wire okay and first this connect line wire to overload relay 95 number point and timer red wire which is for input phase wire so connect 96 number point okay and neutral connects directly in mcb now for output connection yellow wire is for output of this timer so connect a yellow wire in a1 of this coil okay and black wire connection a2 of the contactor coil okay connection is very simple now let's see how it works so for accuracy we connect one stopwatch mcb and stopwatch press at the same time okay the stop time is for one minute so after one minute load will start 
for now load is in a stop condition so off indicator is blinking you can see and after one minute your load will start automatically okay you can see when one minute is complete so load will start automatically now for one minute load is start automatically now load is in start condition on condition you can connect this timer for multi-purpose application like for controlling water pump motor controlling any of the house load or controlling any of the industry load okay and after one minute complete load will stop automatically okay you can see when one minute is complete load will stop automatically and this cycle runs continuously okay i hope you clear the concept how cyclic timer works and connection of this cyclic timer for today is enough